It seems that there is almost an endless supply of piano VSTs to choose from these days. Everything from cheap 90s synth workstation piano knockoffs, to various felt options, to beautifully articulated grands, to particle engine dream machines. So with many existing options, it seems like the piano VST field is pretty well covered. So why would you pay $119 for a new piano plugin in 2022? If you build, you will come. Well, one reason is that us piano players tend to collect the darn things. I'm probably not as bad as some, but I have 12 piano plugins currently installed on my SSDs. Some of them are free, some expensive, some are one trick ponies, and some have a ton of features and flexibility. So why do I need another one? I don't, but I think I do. And it's not just gas and the difference between want and need, which does play a part. There's something else involved. Let's look at some of the hard realities that piano players face. First, a large number of us pianists don't actually own a real piano. The first problem is that a decent piano is expensive, really expensive. Guitar players are lucky. They can own a dozen really good guitars for the price of one average piano. Another is that a real piano takes up a lot of space. If you want to buy a 7 foot Steinway, it's recommended that you have a room that is at least 15 foot by 20 foot. Um, that's 300 square feet. I know people with apartments only slightly bigger than that. Third is that most pianos, like many real instruments, are finicky, except that they are finicky on a whole nother level. They are heavy and hard to move, you should constantly run a humidifier inside of one. Tuning takes forever and is expensive because, well, a piano has 57 times the strings of a violin. You should clean it and condition the wood on a regular basis. Well, you get the idea. Owning a piano is like having a giant piece of furniture that takes up a lot of space and drains your wallet every once in a while. And if you want to move, well, at that point, you might as well leave it and go buy a new guitar because that's how much it will cost. But like any diehard musician, playing a piano, a good, finely crafted grand piano, is a dream. And here's where the want comes in. It's like driving a Ferrari. And if you've never played such a fine instrument in an empty church or concert hall, late at night, with nothing but you, God, and the instrument, well, I'm not sure I have the words to describe the experience. Thus, those of us who can't afford the $10,000 for a low-end grand are more than willing to shell out 50 or 100 bucks for a VST in the hopes of capturing that experience. So here's the question you probably want me to answer. Does SanyaScore's new flagship grand piano give you that race car driving experience? That rush of wood and wind and sound that we all crave? Yes. Yes it does. But so do many of the other existing piano plugins on my list. I'm not saying that to be wry, it's just a fact. In the last three to five years, technology has come so far that I don't need a real piano anymore. A well-sampled piano, or even a software model like Piano Tech, gets pretty close. Is it exactly the same? No, and a lot of us purists, and even myself, will state that we have a ways to go. But it is really good. And for most of us, really good is a great substitute for owning a 900 pound, $50,000 piece of furniture in a mansion with a double mortgage and five-figure property taxes. So, will you like Chroma? I think you probably will. It's very well sampled and sits between the warm and dark spectrum. Although it's a Yamaha, I don't think it's as bright as most older models, and their use of a floor or rumble mic really adds a nice balance to the low end that's a bit unique. There is about a half of an octave around middle C that could use a bit of an EQ scoop in my opinion, but overall the sound is very nice. The dynamics are another thing that make this a flagship instrument. There are 23 velocity layers, and you can tell the difference. If you want to hear the presets, I go through most of them at the end of the video, which should give you a pretty good impression of how this thing sounds, which is just excellent. I won't go over all of the articulations and effects here, but there is a good amount of control, including four mic positions, rotary, tape, delay, distortion, reverb, and EQ effects, your typical piano mechanical noises, and of course, the particle engine. The particle engine is very nice, but I feel like there could be more. I would consider this a flagship piano, like SanyaScore states, but it does lack features that some of the more expensive plugins have, like LFOs or a wide range of IR models. At the end of the day, Chroma seems to sit in kind of an in-between spot. It's a slightly cut down version of Piano Colors with a side dish of Noir. Piano Colors doesn't have a true sampled piano, whereas Noir and Chroma do. 
but Piano Colors has a lot more control with their particle engine, a really nice arpeggiator, and a ton of other sound design features. If you have a lot of money to spend, all three of these are great, and Hammers and Waves is another excellent piano VST option that fits this bill. All four have a fair bit of overlap, so if you just want one excellent piano with a particle engine and several other articulations to add some color, then Chroma can fit that bill for you. Am I glad I brought Chroma? Yes. It is well done and it has made me take a closer look at some of Sony Score's other offerings. The low end is different, fuller, than most of my other pianos. It has some overlap with both Piano Colors and Revelation Scoring Grand, but I don't care because I'm looking for that mountaintop Ferrari driving experience and this just brings me one step closer. That is my quick take on Chroma. Stick around and listen to the presets or check out my previous video on Piano Colors if you're looking for an alternative. I hope you go out and play an instrument today that gives you some enjoyment and I want you to hit that like and subscribe because you have the power to steer that YouTube algorithm to our community here. Have a great day and we will see you on the other side of the mountain. Mm -hmm.